Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me in this new green velo crit race. This is one of my first races that I've ever done on Zwift. I am really looking forward to this. So as we get going, I'm going to be talking you through my setup and the reasons for me doing this. And let's get into it. So as the race gets going, the setup I'm using, I'm using this old, uh, it's a Muddy Fox, <laughs> essentially, cheap cheap as hell bike i paid 20 pound off facebook for the frame come with two wheels it come with handlebars drop bars i've the only thing i have changed on it is the stem so i sit up a little bit upright on it just as i figured it's going to be a stationary bike i just kind of figured that i'd sooner prefer that but i might change that as we go further into this road bike is connected to a wahoo kicker zwift core hub one which i've just recently purchased a literally only done an ftp test a few days prior to this and that's all i've done i am not new to zwift though zwift i have been since 2021 it says on my account and that's literally i've had a dumb trainer connected i haven't really done anything at all other than ride around you know watopia and things like that i haven't unlocked many things i'm level 13 but i've literally done the basic to get that level 13. So now I've got a Wahoo kicker set up, I figured, well, what the hell, why not join in in a couple of races? Hence the reason we're here. I don't really know what I'm doing. I figured I'm gonna get dropped in this race and it is what it is. I've entered into category D and let's see what happens. That's, I, I was going to see on the map there, you know, this group of four or five riders are coming behind me. So I figured, well, it's probably beneficial if I stay with this group. Now I know I'm going to get dropped at some point. I know that, it's inevitable. And I'm just chugging along in gear 14. Gear 14 feels the most comfortable for me at this moment in time. I've got an average FTP and from the test I did the other day of 212 watts. So I kind of figure, yeah, let's, let's just stay with this and stay around the 200 watts. Let's see what can happen. I stay with this group, I think this group must be thinking, you know, all right, here we go, we've got another newbie, he's here for the taking. It's probably gonna happen, let's be honest. So I, you know, stay with the group, and I'm, I'm moving forward, I'm moving within the group, I'm using the draft, drafting boost, which I haven't got my phone set up on my bike, so I'm, I'm having to reach and grab that, but that doesn't really matter, you know, I'm on a stationary bike, it's, it's on a table next to me. I know for a fine fact that they're gonna come blitzing past me, and I'm fine with that. Uh, you can see my head from side to side. It's really bad, and I know that, and that's something I'm definitely gonna be working on. Um, but I am also listening to drum and bass at this time, and drum and bass, you know, I'm, I'm in the zone. I'm loving it, I'm going for it, so. Um, So I'm all alone at the 10k mark. Around here, I'm all alone. You can see I've lifted my cap up um, on the camera and I'm starting to get hot and flustered and actually think about, is this the halfway point? I'm not even at the halfway point. Oh my God, where um, am I gonna get, you know, the energy to carry on with the rest of this? Um, the group have left me at this point, completely left me there a good, you know, 30 seconds in front of me or so, probably further. I've got a couple of names behind me that I am keeping my eye on and I don't want to get caught up, I don't want to get swallowed up. So I'm just chugging along. I'm in a, I'm in a good space in my head, but I do know that I can also switch off at this point and just do what I've got to do to get through it. Now, I'm reasonably new to this cycling game. I have cycled. For, I'm 42 years of age, I have cycled for you know some part of my life, but never really took it serious. I've never really been a you know a competitor in it, and I certainly don't think I will be on the, a competitor on the roads. This is just a game and it's a bit of fun. Uh, I've got a really cheap setup. I know there's some really hardcore hobbyists that love this sport, and rightly so, it's a fantastic sport. I've come from running and running. Um, you know, I'm a really average runner as well. 
I've done a marathon in four hours, six minutes. I've done a half marathon in one hour, 50, well, one hour, 49 actually is my PB. Um, and, you know, I've got average times across the whole board. I just do it for fun. At this moment in time, I'm currently injured. I've got a runner's knee. Uh, so therefore I thought, you know what? I'll get another bike. I've actually bought two bikes. I've got a, a Halford Special in the background that you can see, um, which I take out weekly on the road. And I'm just gradually getting into the sport. Simple as that. But I love, I love the concept of playing a game. Playing a game, having a bit of fun, which is exactly what I'm doing here. I'm conscious of the people behind me. I also know that I am being lapped. I'm being lapped now. So, I mean, that's not a nice feeling, but it's a game. I, I know there's people with far more, you know, uh, cycling ability than what I've got. Uh, there's people that are younger than me, fitter than me, older than me, that are fitter than me. I know all this, and to be quite, to be quite frank, it happened. Um, but I'm just now trying to think, can I hang on? Can I keep this? You know sustain this I think you can and um, you can see I've still got that head movement I've got the Paula Radcliffe head movement while cycling and um, I'm, I'm in the zone I'm enjoying it. so we're on lap 10 now and I've got another two laps to go I'm burning my legs are burning I am definitely feeling the FTP test that I did the other day. The FTP test that I did the other day is really burning my leg. Aerobically, I still think I'm fine. Uh, 160 beats per minute. I I don't think that's at the top end of my, you know, where I'm, I'm struggling to breathe or I'm struggling to, to cope, uh, you know, in a cardiovascular way. But my legs, my motors, my driving force are really burning and that's what's giving up on me. So that's a really good indication of I need to kind of work uh, on recovering my legs better in between sessions. So at the 20k point, I am now thinking I've got 3.4k to go. And there's a few names that I am looking at now. I am literally focusing on. I've still got Empelina. There's another couple of names that have you know moved and I'm frightened of being overtook big time by one of these. So I am now working as hard as I can, you can see the sweat build up. You know, I'm perspirating. I've got no fan to cool me down. I need to buy a fan. So that is definitely next on my shopping list uh, of uh, purchases that Aiden must buy is a fan to cool me down. As you can see, I am on I know one kilometer now, and you can see that I'm really working it now. I don't want to get overtaken. I don't know whose categories are where or anything like that, but and I'm just doing the best I can do. I'm thinking I'm going to be in the top three of my category. That's what I've got in my head. I don't think I'm going to win it. I definitely don't think I've got the legs or the ability to win this category. The crank is creaking on this cheap setup bike that I've got, but I don't care. It costs £20. I am waiting for the endorphins to kick in from it, and I am loving it. I don't know where we are. I don't have. I've, I've not got a clue. The leaderboard comes up and I'm in third there. It says I'm in third. So there we go. That was my first uh, crit race. I, I don't know anything about racing at all. But I'm hoping you guys can uh, get, share some tips with me in the comments. And if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you do fancy subscribing and following this journey, it's, it's free to subscribe. And I will be posting regular content. As soon as I've got a GoPro, I will be posting running videos because I am uh, starting to test my runner's knee. So I will be going out at least once or twice a week. Thank you so much. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.